So have you been paying a lot of money for video hosting to showcase your courses and other video content, but you're trying to avoid those funky logos, extra words, and suggested videos that take people away from your original stuff? Well, I think I might have found a solution for you that's super affordable. It's called Killer Player, but you got to jump on this deal really quick because it's going to be gone in the next few days. Hey guys, it's Tanya Smith here of Get Noticed with Video. And I have another really cool deal that I wanted to share with you before it runs out. I just found this. I was not sleeping well and I was up and surfing and found Killer Player is now on AppSumo. It's actually on a couple of other spaces as well, anywhere you can find lifetime deals. So I guess they have a campaign going, but here's the deal. What I wanna share with you is that it's an excellent tool for one main thing. One thing is, as a video person, I know that we have to host a lot of videos. We've got to save a lot of videos that want to display in other channels. So to give you an example, you might want to display your video as a lesson inside of a course on a membership site. I do that. You might want to display your video on your website to share your About Us page um, or to share you know, other types of videos testimonials, if you will, on your website. There's any number of reasons why you're going to want to showcase videos in different spaces that you have. But here's the deal. If you are sharing YouTube videos, typically YouTube videos are going to have a lot of extra bloat. To give you an example, they're going to have their YouTube logo. They're going to have recommended videos at the end, sending people to places that you didn't want them to go. They're going to have extra stuff, even extra words at the top with the title for the video if you just use native YouTube link. The reason I'm sharing Killer Player with you is because it allows you to use YouTube as a hosting platform so you can store and save your YouTube videos or your videos onto YouTube, save them there, even save them as unlisted if you want, but then you can use Killer Player to remove all that extra stuff so that your video shows up clean. Now, the difference between that and say paying for a subscription to Vimeo or Wistia or any of those other really pricey platforms is the cost. The expense of Vimeo, the account that I have right now, is almost $250 a year. But instead, if you purchased Killer Player, right now it's on sale on AppSumo for only $99. Let me show you. So this is Killer Player. It's actually on the AppSumo platform right now. And today is August 29th of 2021. So I don't know if at the time that you see this, it will be here or gone. What I do know is on a couple of other sites, it says it's only going to be up for about two more days. So AppSumo has it on sale for $99. Now, a couple of things that you'll want to notice about this, it even lists itself as a Wistia alternative, right? So basically what it's giving you is options for you to be able to host for $99 or not host on their site, but host your videos on YouTube and then display your videos on your own properties, on your own sites with these really cute themes. So I'm gonna show you how this works behind the scenes in just a minute, but this gives you some ideas. You'll also notice that they've given you access, lifetime access, but you have to redeem your code within 60 days of purchase, which is pretty normal for AppSumo, okay? There's only one code to purchase, so you don't have to buy a ton of other codes. But one thing I always recommend to you is to review the reviews. So check out the comments and you'll find that there's nothing but positive comments so far coming out. Now, the thing I liked about this particular special is that it is unlimited videos, unlimited visitors, everything's unlimited and it truly is all included inside of the $99 price. Also, the color options are big for me because I'm big on making sure that all my branding looks similar and has the same raspberry pink color that I like to broadcast everywhere. Let me do this. I want to make sure to showcase the link to the AppSumo page. So if you go to tanya.click slash AppSumo deals, you'll find Killer Player. Just type in the search at the top left, Killer Player, and this will pull up for you. So right here, you're going to type it there. 
and notice it's still active. Now, if you don't see it anymore at the time of this recording, that means it may already be over. So you definitely wanna jump on this as soon as you see my video, make sure you go check it out. So this is Killer Player. So this is inside of Killer Player and what you can actually see here is that it is a very simple minimalistic layout. So what you're gonna do is basically enter your YouTube video right here. And what I'll do is I'm gonna pull one, I did a review on Spoke not too long ago. So I'll pull that link and just pop it into the URL space there and click next and watch what happens. So now what it does is it basically pops up your video. It does take a few seconds, so you will have to get a little patient, okay? As you <laughs> process or as it processes your URL, be a little patient. If you see that there's any error messages, there may be a copyright issue inside of the video that you're trying to share, so you wanna double check that. Now notice that it has this blue arrow here. I'm not partial to blue. I have a specific color that I like to use. But before we even look at that, look over here on the left-hand side, and you'll notice that there are various options. There's an option for autoplay, control bar, allowing pause, high quality, and hiding the YouTube logo, which is set by default, and that's what we want. We don't want all the extra bloat. The other thing I want you to notice is down here, there's different options for themes, okay? So I typically use Vimeo right now. As I said, I already have an annual subscription with Vimeo, but it's very pricey. I would love to be able to say, okay, I'm not paying you anymore. I've already done this. I'm good to go, right? But still have access to the features that I want. So right here, I have now listed Vimeo as my theme of choice. And down here, I'm going to change this to my preferred color, my branded color. So now it has my branded color here, right? And let's say that this didn't have a thumbnail. What if it didn't have a thumbnail that I preferred to use? What I literally can do is to upload a custom thumbnail. I can pull another thumbnail in and ensure that the video when I display the code is going to show that particular thumbnail whenever it dis or wherever it displays. The other thing you can do is you can actually change the video size right here. So check this out. You can also change the progress bar, but I'm not gonna mess with that right now. I'm just gonna change it and say, we want 640 by 360, okay? We're gonna do that. And that way, when we do this embed, when we click embed, now, the cool thing about having this embed code, let me just pop this up real quick because I want to make sure I'm sharing this with you. The cool thing about this is that this means because you get this HTML code, you can paste this anywhere you want that accepts HTML code. So that means you don't necessarily have to use a WordPress site. It can be wherever it is they're sharing. If you've got landing pages, if you're using funnel streams, which is my favorite platform of choice right now, Anything that you're using where you can paste your HTML code, you'll be able to paste this code. That's a plus. So now let me show you what this means. I'm creating a WordPress post. I'm just gonna use WordPress just for simplicity's sake, but you can literally paste this HTML code wherever you want. What I'm gonna do is to say, I wanna load custom HTML and I'm gonna paste the exact code. I'm gonna paste this code in here. Now, here's what happens. Watch this. You can see the entire video is now showing up here without any type of extra stuff. Look, that progress bar is blue because I didn't change it. But there is no extra YouTube logos and all the extra bloat. And even at the end, watch this. It just has my video outro. It does not have the recommended videos or any of that. It's just my plain old video, but this is actually a link from YouTube. Check that out. Now, let me show you the difference. I'm gonna do another HTML right here. Let's do custom HTML. And we're gonna just use the video, for the embed code from YouTube. I'm gonna show you what this looks like so that you see how different this may look. Now, this is the exact code from YouTube, so I'm going to paste it, okay? Because you can paste HTML code from YouTube directly into your spaces, right? 
Now, I want you to notice the difference. Right here, I was able to tell it the size, which you can do with your YouTube embed, but I don't have that beautiful pink bar here. I have extra bloated words with my image from my channel. I have subscribed because YouTube wants to lead us back to YouTube. I even have this watch on YouTube banner that I don't want there. I don't want all that. I want it to be super clean because let's pretend that I'm actually housing this inside of a course and I don't want people to have all this extra stuff. And watch this at the end. Look at all the extra. Now watch what it does. Look at that. It's leading people to other spaces that I didn't ask it to lead it to. This here, once you end it, it's ended. And all we did is use Killer Player to make that happen. So look, check this out. You definitely want to get on it. It is right now available on AppSumo and it's a deal, a limited time deal. So you'll want to check it out. Go to tanya.click slash AppSumo deals and type in Killer Player in the search bar and pull this thing up and get it right now. Super easy to use. The only other thing I want to mention to you about this is that you can also upload your own custom thumbnails. I didn't show you how to do that for sake of time, but that is doable as well. My, my YouTube video that I showed you already had one, but what if you don't? You can still pull in your own YouTube thumbnail or a thumbnail for your video so that when it displays on whatever platform you choose, when you paste that embed code, it displays with the thumbnail that you chose. Love this idea. I think it's an excellent app to have. And for the one-time fee, you can't beat that. So good luck. Go try to grab that deal right now and I'll see you next time. Days.